Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's time to get some more gas in the tank. Um, we are going to have a go at five gas puzzles, genuinely approachable Sudoku. They appear on the daily Sudoku channel in the Discord server, which we heartily recommend. If you want these the day they come out, I do them about three or four weeks behind when they come out. Um, do check it out. It is all available there. I am trying to catch up a bit at the moment, so these gas videos are appearing a little more frequently than recently. Um, now, the setters are Clover and Sam Kappelman Lines and Philip Newman. They all do a brilliant job of showcasing the variant rules and so on. So we really recommend these for sharpening your skills, just having fun. If you're a good solver, it's five minutes a day. If you're a learning solver, it's a great experience. It could take you 15 minutes, half an hour to do each puzzle, but it shouldn't take you longer than that. There's no crazy set theory or anything normally. Um, have a look at these. Now, there's also, of course, all sorts of other stuff on the channel, on our Patreon page, on in our apps, um, Sven Sudoku Pad, etc. Merchandise. Check out the links under the video. But the first five are to these puzzles, and I'm going to run through the rules of them all and then take them on one at a time against the clock. So we start with a thermo between. There are two thermometers here which increase in terms of digits from the bulb to the end. Now the bulb's hidden on this one. It's obviously at that end because it's not at this end. So the bulb's here. What it's hidden by is a between line circle. So digits along a line must have values strictly between the values in two circles on the ends of the line. So here these digits must be between 3 and 8 uh, numerically. So that's the first puzzle by Clover. The next one is a palindrome quads. We've seen one of these before. This is by Sam, and this involves uh, quads where we've got four cells with... Sorry, let me, let me read the rules. Numbers placed on a grey line must form a palindromic sequence. That is, they must read the same in both directions. The numbers appearing in a white circle must be placed somewhere in the four cells surrounding that circle. So there's a one in one of those four cells, and there's a one, two, six, seven in those four. So that's the second puzzle. The third one is called Pufferfish by Philip Newman. Oh, it's one of Philip's classics. So no extra rules, normal Sudoku rules apply, and that's it. Just classic Sudoku rules and the shape in the grid of a pufferfish, hence the name. I like that, that's nice. Then we have, oh, number five is Alive by Clover. This appeared in a recent Grand Prix, and we did an example puzzle on the channel, I think. Now, normal slope rules apply. Digits in a cage may not repeat and must sum to a value ending in five, such as five, 15, 25, etc. So this cage adds up to 15, 25, or 35, I'm going to say but it could be 5 or 45 if the cage was the right size. Oh, and we finished with another classic by Sam. Oh, very interesting. So, again, no extra rules. So this really is a, a good learning set. Um, right, fair enough. I am going to try and reset my clock every time by restarting the puzzle. And now I'm going to say, let's get cracking. And, yeah, this central between line, that does have to be 5, 6, and 7. Uh, this can't be low, so it's got to be... Ah, it's got to be high, but look at the thermo. It can't be too high. In fact, I think that's got to be a 6. 4, 5 there, then 7, 8, 9 on the rest of the thermo. I think that must be right. What, have we got something similar going on here? This has to be low. So there's got to be a 2 and a 4 here. That's got to be a 1. It's not quite as helpful. Does this have to be a 2? Otherwise, it would have to be a, up as high as an 8. Yes, that has to be a 2 with a 3, 4 on the line. This one, that can't be a 3. So we're up to at least 5 here. And that's the most we can go to. So that is a 5. That's a very clever combination of rules there. In fact, this has to be an 8-9 pair. Once we've got 6-7 in the box, that is 8-9, and we know the order based on that being a thermo. Here I think there's a bit more flexibility. So let's... 7 and 6 are done by the 6. That now becomes a 5. So those are all done. Uh, 2 in this row is there, I can see. 
Oh, these two. That's got to be a seven, and this is four or five. Nine, seven, five, four. We get a one. Ah, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, four, five pair. That's two and four resolved. So we've got two, three, four, five, seven in this box is there. That's a nine, eight pair. Then we've got a six, five pair that can be written in. That gives us a one, three pair over here. Seven, eight, nine, five, four pair at the top. Two, six down below can be written in. This is now eight and one. This is a two, three pair. Interesting how some of those resolve as pairs and others don't. I would have thought the symmetry would make them all go the same way. Nine, three pair in the box is helpful. That thermo's finished. This is a one, six pair that I can't resolve. Wow, lots of pairs. Right. This can't be one or nine on the line, so that's a three. We get one there, that fixes the one and three. Uh, I'm looking at that cell, that's an eight. Ah, I can't do the others. Eight, one, nine, three, two. No. Three in one of those, two in one of those. Why is this not helping more? I'm going to have to look at this line. 6, 8, 9, 5, 2. So 1, 3, or 4. This one, 2, 3, 5. It's not that helpful. Oh, it can't be a 5 because of the 4, 5 pair. Ah, oh, of course. So that is 2. It is very helpful. If I just read it right. So 2 in the column is there. That is 8 and 3. We've got a 7, 9 pair. They're resolved. In fact, the 4, 5 pairs resolved. This is 2, 3. That's a Four. We've done the one six now, and now it is coming together. I don't think this will have interrupted my sequence of two hat times, he says, with hubris a go go. Um, eight there, one there, nine, eight, nine. What have we got? A seven we need and a six. That's become a one. Very clever puzzle. Very interesting how Clover's used this rule set to make a very approachable puzzle. I really like that. It's a smart puzzle. There we go. Uh, four minutes, ten seconds. Yeah, that time's pretty good. Felt slower, actually. I, I knew I was going okay, but I didn't realise it was that fast. Lovely. Right. So, but that was only the first of the set for some reason. <laughs> now, we go on to palindrome quads. Um, I'm going to restart and try this. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four. Oh, three, four must be the shared palindrome pair there. So there's a one, two there. Here it's a one, two that's being shared on the palindrome. Maybe that is the way to look at this. Here it's got to be a four, five pair being shared. So seven, eight, three can go in. That's a one, two pair. And a six, seven pair being shared on this palindrome. It's all a very caring, sharing puzzle. Now, four, five pair up the middle gives us a three there. Oh, yes, and I must remember, I don't know what's happened there, sorry. Um, so we've got a four, sorry, something going wrong with my controls. Three, four, one or two on the palindrome. So that's one or two. Actually, it can't be two because there's an X wing on twos going on. So it's a one. Now that fixes one, two there. Yeah, we have to remember that when we get one end of the palindrome, we can do the other end in order as well. Haven't figured out the six, seven pair. That's a four. Um, okay, so now what? We've got a six, nine pair. Yeah, we can do those in the middle. Very straightforward. One on this is there. Can we do the two on this one? No, actually maybe. Two, one there. One of those is a two. Eight in this row is there. This is a three, four, seven set. Got two there and a five, six pair. Four there, two, nine. Yes, we do know the order. I didn't really need that two in the circle as far as I can see. It's just for symmetry. Um, Five, six are done. Okay, so we're flying along now. Six, eight pairs still to go. 
looking up and down the middle column. That can't be 6 or 7, so it's 9. 6, 7, that's a naked 8. 2 in the row goes there. 6 in the column is there. Is there. That fixes 7. Now I can do this last palindrome. If I hit the right keys, that fixes the 5, 6 pair. 1, 8, and 3. So a 1 and a 3, 8 pair. This is 5, 8, 9. That's not doable at the moment. That's an 8. 8, I said. 2, 1, 6, 7, 4. Come on. That's a 7 now. So this becomes a 3. In fact, that, that does the 3, 4, 7 triple. So 2 in this column is there. We've got an 8, 9 pair still to go. 7, 1, 6, 2. This 8 is in one of those cells, so it's not there. That's quite helpful. 3, 8, 7, 6, and 9. That's a 9. 6, 7. I've got 9 and 1. 3 and 5 still to go here. That 8, 9 pair is done. 6, 7, 2, 1. Oh, what have we got? 9 and 8 here. 2, 5, 7. They can go in in the first box. Yeah, that does 9 and 8. This has been an 8 for a while, but I've only just noticed. 3, 4, 5 in the top row. That's not too bad. 5 there, 9 there, 3 and 5, and that does that puzzle. I'm just going to pause while I deal with something, um, and then I'll be back to the third puzzle in this set. Okay, let's hope I remember to edit that out. <laughs> we'll try Philip's puffer fish next. So normal Sudoku rules. Let's go. Um, okay, that is a naked four. So we get eight in the row, five and nine. We've finished row two. Six, yeah, let's look at the column eight for symmetry, and we can finish that as well. That's nice. Uh, now, there's a nine in one of those two. Oh, there's a six. That'll do. 3 and 7 there, not sure what to do with those. Oh, 6 there, maybe I should keep going on 6s. They seem to be profitable. Yes, that's going to finish all the 6s. There they go. 6. That is a 5-7 pair in the row, so that's a 4-9 pair. Um, 7, 2, 6, 4. We've got a 5 up at the top. 7 in this column is there. 4, 2, 1, 9, 6. That's 8 in the box. Oh, there's some odd relationships here. So that's, hang on, that is not a 4, 6 pair. That's a 4, 9 pair, which is a relief because 8 there makes 9 go there. And the pencil marking I put in was not helping. 4 and 7 there. I don't think that false pencil marking has disturbed anything. Thank goodness. Um, Four in column five has to be there. Three in the row has to be there. There's a two five pair to finish off. Four in the box is there. One two, that's a naked five. It's a one two pair there. This is very odd. This is not flowing at all. I'm just jumping around, finding interesting things all over the place. There's a three in one of those cells. Nine. Nine in this box is there. Probably all nines are doable, maybe. I don't know. I'm looking at three set. No, I, that's not true. Six, eight, nine, four. Seven must be in one of those two. Yeah, very jerky and disjointed soul by me here. Eight must be there. That place is eight here. And that's the last eight in the grid. Okay, they're done. Two, th right, five has to be there. This is a two, three pair, but we know the order. So we get one there. This was apparently the only place for nine in the row for a long time, and I wasn't noticing that. What have we got up here? Three and nine, yes, they're done. Okay, so I can do nine, five here. Seven, one, eight, nine, four, six, five in the column. Two and three, this is going all right now. We get a four there. We've got the same disjointed pattern, but one of those is a seven. 
remember saying that earlier. Sometimes vocalising your thoughts actually helps rather than slowing you down, weirdly. Two seven pair. <laughs> know what this is, three or five. Oh, it's going to have to be sorted out over here. Two, three, seven in this set. Okay, two, seven, three. That is a one. This is now a three. That does the triple in the box. Probably there were other ways of doing that, but we are there now. And uh, ah, only three minutes, 23. So quite a lot of information in the old puffer fish there. Um, thanks, Philip. Now, that wasn't too bad, but as I said, very disjointed for me as a soul, but that's my fault. Right, now these cages have to sum to numbers ending in five. Digits don't repeat. Let's go. Okay, so these must end in a total ending in zero. So we get a five in the middle and then a nine four pair in the row in the column. They end it oh, I don't know, that's not the place to look. Don't know what the place to look is. Okay. Three cell cage, doesn't that always have to be 15? Yes, it can't be five or 25. So these two are a two five pair. These two are a nine, but that could be one eight or five four. Oh, this, that must be a three and that's a four and that's a nine and that's an eight. They're all write-ins that I wasn't writing in. Um, now, this could be 15, 8, 7, but it can't be 5 anymore. Yeah, that is right. So this one is 1, 4. Then we've got a 2 and a 5 in the column. So this one we must know. Could be 15, yes, same deal. 2, 3 there, and we've got 5 and 7 to put in the columns. That can't be a 7, so 5, 2, 4, 9... That one's a five, that's a seven. Okay, now this cage, 18, 21, that has to be a four. This one, 11, another four to a different total. That's now not four, five, that's a one, eight pair. Two, five, six, and nine, that's gonna have to be a nine, six pair. Five and two, that needs a three with it. Let's look down here. One, eight, seven, and six. I think that's gonna have to be an eight, seven pair then. One, six needs a nine with it. Now that's a naked seven, which is quite helpful. We've got eight here. These either add up to seven or 17. Well, it's not 17. So it's a two, five pair making seven. That is not naked. Okay, so let's get more help up there. We get a seven here. Six, eight, nine finishes the first column. That's a one with a two, five pair below. Three, four, and six here. I can only do the six. One, nine as a pair there. That's an eight now. This is four or five. Okay, so the totals aren't very different. 19 or 20. So these add up to four, six. No, hang on. Five, six. 15 or 16 can't be 15 or 16 so it must be can't be six so it must be five wow let me just check the maths on that yes 25 okay wow that's a very clever late step in a puzzle like this um, why can't I see the five because it's at the very end right nine there ah no 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 this has gone wrong Can't put both nine and three in this cell. So let's wind it back to where I was considering this cage here. That is three or four, in fact, by, by Sudoku. That's an eight. Maybe I should just do some Sudoku first. But the problem is going to be... Ah, Mark. Oh, and there's nowhere for an eight down here. That is, something went wrong earlier. Here, one and eight, but I can't have an eight there. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, this has blown my times. Was it with that cage? I said those have to add up to 9. And they can't be 4, 5, 3, 6 or 7, 2. So they must be 1, 8. Then I ran into trouble with the 8 here. See, I think I was all right up to here. Now, 4, 3, 9, 2, 5. That had to be 8, 7. I'm still solid on that. 6, 1. The 6 must go with a 9. This has become a 7. 4 and 3, 8. These have to add up to 7 or 17. Has to be 7. That's 7, 8. It's done. What have I done wrong here? I've been an idiot in some way. Maybe I've made one of my previous cages not add up. I think they all look good. One, five, nine there. So I'm just doing this again in the hope that I get a different result. I'm hoping that's not this time the definition of stupidity. Oh, I've got an eight there. I didn't have that before. So one, two, three, nine. That must be a two, three pair in that set. Oh dear. Well, this has destroyed my times, hasn't it? Two, three, nine. That can't be 4, 5. It is 1, 8. Okay, but that's all right now. Then we've got a 4, 5 pair. This can't be 9. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Mark. Gallop through this somehow. This pair, 7, 3, 4, 1, 8, 2, 9, 6. Has to be. Then we've got 2 and 5 there. Right, so we get a 1 in the cage. 16, 17. We're aiming for 25 with 5, 3. Has to be. Four, three, we get an eight over here. That's become a four. That's going to fix these two rows. Again, they just don't look right. Hopefully I haven't made a different mistake this time. That can be a four now, which wasn't one of the options I was thinking of before. Eight and a two, six pair. We've got one, five, seven there. This is a two to finish off. Now, seven, eight are easy. Nine, six. 5, 2, and 6, 2. There we go. Oh, 6 minutes 30 with a recovered mistake. That might... There's a chance... 6.29 on my clock. That just might get in the two-hat time. But I really didn't help myself. Okay, so... So we move on to the other classic. Yes, Sam Kappelman lines. Okay, so let's restart and have a go at this. Okay, one, two can't go there. So they're a pair here. That's a seven, eight, nine triple where I can write in the nine. Four in the row is there. Three, five, six, two and a one, eight pair. Um, where should I be looking now? Eight is in one of those cells. That's not helpful. Oh, let's... Eight is there. Don't know at the top. Eight, five, two, six. So one of these is a four. One of these is a five. Eight, nine, five. That's not, that's not the way to do it. Foo, two, five. Two, actually, is placed there. One of those is a five. Six, seven, five. One can't be there. Eight, two, five. A six in the... No, I was going to say six is there, but it can also be at the top. So that's not right. Two, five, seven, eight. Six is in one of those cells, though. Five's in one of those. Oh, that's a 975 triple. Right, I can write them in. 683 at the top, I can write in the 8, and that's a 3 6 pair. That's fixed the 1 8 and the 1 2. 3 5 6. Okay, that was something. Now, still looking down this column as though that's going to give me something I can't see. Ah, oh, I need a 6 and a 2 in column 7. So then I have a 9 and a 1, 3 pair. That's now a 4, 7. Oh no, I know where the 7 is. Okay. 1, 3 there. 1, 3, 7, 2, 5, 8. We've got 6, 4, 9 in that group. 1, 4, 3 in this group. 6 in this row has to be there. That's been there, available since the absolute start. 
Um, and that means that's a six. One, that's become a four suddenly. One, three, eight, two, five, four, six. So I can finish seven and nine. That makes that a four. Two, five, six. Seven must be there. One, eight, four, three. That's one or three. So is this. So it's not a five. We've got a one, three pair in the row. So that's not four, nor is this. Um, six, seven, four, nine, eight. Still not done here. Three or five there. Six, nine, eight, four. Three or five here. So that's a pair. So then we get a six, four pair here, which I can't resolve. Ah, doesn't that help at all? No, it really doesn't. Nine, two, five, six, seven. That is one or three. Now that does help. That makes this a five. Three and five down here. Then we get one, three. Ah, oh, that's doing all the ones and threes, isn't it? Get three there. Gosh, I had a lot of one, three pairs that I hadn't even realized. Two and seven there now. That has become a two, so that fixes that straight away. Eight, three and nine. Yes, they can go in. Six and nine, six and four, one and eight in this row. Why am I suddenly looking at rows instead of columns? I don't know, but we are finished in three minutes, 51. So, well, not so much on that puzzle, but I will be hanging on bated breath to see if I have kept a two-hat streak alive at all. If indeed I was on one. I think I was. But uh, yeah, I was okay on those two. And Pufferfish. So it's really all about whether I botched it on number five is alive. Six minutes 29, I hope, is all right. But a uh, very interesting set of puzzles. That is another gas in the tank now. And uh, pleased always to do these gas puzzles. They are great fun. Um, even when you have to unwind your mistakes, honestly, I still find that great fun. Um, I just love doing Sudoku, I suppose, as you can tell. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, as always. Hope to see you soon again on the channel. Bye for now.